Coach, your thoughts on the win over CSU Bakersfield? Well, obviously it was uh, it was an exhilarating one at the end to to pull off in the way we did and not hang our head late. I think we were down, you know, nine as much as two and a half minutes left, and then we're out, we're fortunate to force the overtime and come up with a win. Uh, you know, one of those nights, I think our will to win was certainly greater than our uh, our ability to, to execute consistently. They didn't hit a lot of three-pointers in the game, but uh, they all came in the final two and a half minutes of regulation and five minutes of overtime. They were all big. Yeah, really critical. You know, I think Urbanus was, um, uh, was one that kind of gave us hope that we could get, you know, that we the things we were saying on the bench of, hey, we got to chip away at the lead. Uh, that was one that, that, that started the chipping away and I think gave us hope that we could get the game uh, to overtime. And then I think Delgado's late in the shot clock, which came off a great ball movement and then became a very open shot, was, uh, was a huge momentum shot. And Houston Baptist, round two. Yeah, you know, we always have uh, terrific games uh, with them. Has been, uh, has been a growing rivalry since we've been with them together in the league last few years. And if you look over the course of our, the games we've played, uh, a lot of close ones, a lot of good ones. They're an excellent team. I think they're really trying. I think they've really been finding their stride uh, of late. They've had a couple really good wins over UMKC. Had a great home win against NJIT, and those guys have a good understanding of how to play against against us. They're always well prepared and always always difficult. We were fortunate to to get hot in the second half there, and uh, we're gonna have to play an excellent game tomorrow night to to try and get this one. So much going on on Saturday, uh, especially revolving around men's basketball. Two former men's basketball players going into the Hall of Fame. They're going to have the tribute to Sam Williams, the honor the 63 championship team, and unveil Luke Jackson's retired jersey up in the rafter. Excited about all that? Yeah, and we're breaking out the, uh, the book, uh, Dr. Selber's book on the history of basketball at UTPA. So, I mean, I think it's just a, uh, it's an unbelievable weekend, and I, I've, we've talked to the guys about you know, trying to have a good have a good balance of um, you know being appreciative and taking advantage of these things that are going on, enjoying them, um, understand you know understanding the the lineage and the history that we're a part of, and uh, and also knowing that the best thing we can do uh, is to go out and play really well and hopefully get a uh, get a win to sort of culminate uh, all the all the excellent things that are going on you know relative to to Pan American basketball this weekend.